Hey guys and welcome back for another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the cork version of Ashley's crossbody weekender bag. This won't be a fully in-depth tutorial. I'll take you through the entire construction process, but if you need any clarification on some things, I would check out the first video which will be linked below as well as the information icon. Also, the first tutorial was made out of fabric which I made a little bit different and has a different insert option. So if you like the zipper divider option, refer to the first video, but for this video, we will have a hidden zipper pouch with no divider. So I thought I would change it up so it wasn't exactly the same, but it is the actual bag itself is the same. Of course, the pattern and instructions are also posted over at the blog post, which is linked below. You can go over there and print out the completely free pattern. And then I have the instructions on the first video on how to tape it all together. It's also written in the pattern, but if you're having a hard time, you can refer to that first video. So if you've been with me long enough, you know I always have more information over at the blog post, but if you need a little bit more help or you wanna to talk to me or share your projects, then go over to the Facebook group, which is also linked below. And also I wanted to talk to you about my Patreon. Over at Patreon, you will get exclusive content and also you can help support this channel for as little as $1 a month. So I hope you guys go over there and check it out. And I just wanted to say thank you to my newest patron, Terry. She's been a subscriber for a long time and I really appreciate it. Okay, now let's get into the tutorial. So I'm working with some cork fabric. I'm using cotton for the lining and then I'm using cotton for my little hidden zipper pouch plus a nylon zipper. So the first step is to figure out where your hidden pocket is going to go. I'm going to be using some chalk, a pen, a ruler, and then I have my nylon zipper. I like to use a longer zipper than normal. I don't like to cut it too close. And now I'm going to draw out some guidelines with my ruler. I'm going to bring it down about an inch and a half away from the top of the bag, which is where those little notches are. And I'm just going to draw a guideline from side to side. And then I'm going to bring my ruler down a half inch and then draw another guideline. I'm going to put my lining for that hidden pouch on top with the right sides facing down. And I'm going to put it so that the top of that fabric is about one inch over that guideline and then make sure it's centered from side to side. And then I'll just use those guidelines to create those lines over top of it. And then I'm going to draw a little line, make it into a box about what a three quarters of an inch away from the sides. And then you're gonna follow that rectangle as you sew. That is your little box that you're gonna sew. And this is gonna be the little opening for that zipper. So you're just going to follow all the way around. And then after that, um, I'm just going to use a pen for this just so that you guys can see better. But um, you can use your chalk or you can just wing it. So it's up to you. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line down the center. And then I'm going to put these little triangles coming from this, the, the corners. And that is basically where I'm telling you where you are going to want to cut. So I'm just going to make a little hole with my stitch ripper so that I can get my scissors in there and I will cut down that line and then cut down the little lines, making sure you don't snip any of your threads. And then that will be perfect so that you can take your fabric and then stick it through the hole. And then your beautiful rectangle will emerge. <laughs> this part is a little bit tricky. Um, so it's going to take you some time. You're just going to get your iron ready and you're just going to try to flatten your fabric as best as possible. The reason why we slit right to the corners is so that it does lay nice and flat. So as you can see, um, the side of the rectangle um, isn't bunched up. And then we will now install the zipper. So from here, you're going to take your zipper and then put it behind it. Um, you can use some double-sided tape or I'm just going to use some of this um, sticky glue. I don't know what it is. Um, I think it's by Tombow or something. I just use it just so that my zipper will stay in place for the sewing, the sewing process. So if you wanted to use pins, you could, but um, I just find it's easier just to glue it and then I don't have to think about it. <laughs> and then we're just gonna sew a top stitch all the way around, making sure that our zipper pull is in that little rectangle. 
and then that will be our zipper installed. Um, I am using a zipper foot, but you probably could get away with not using a zipper foot actually. So then after that, then you're just going to give it a little test run, open it up, make sure your zipper works good. And then we will snip off some of the excess zipper. So if you have a longer zipper, then you're gonna wanna cut that down so that's not in the way. And I highly recommend using a pair of crappy scissors. If not, you're going to ruin your nice scissors like I did. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's just from pure laziness. So then I'm gonna get my second piece of lining, place that with the right sides down, and then I will sew all the way around. But I'm not gonna sew just like this. I'm going to tuck the uh, lining of the bag fabric out of the way, so the gray fabric, I just tucked it out of the way, and then I sewed all the way around. And then that's it. So now you can open it up and see your beautiful hidden pocket. How cute is that? I love it. So from here, it's basically like the other tutorial. We're just going to fold up the bottom half of our bag, lining it up, sew down the sides, and we're gonna do that on the, the same as the lining. So this is me doing the lining. I will then flatten those little notches, lining up the seams with the center, and I will sew those. So here's the bag. Like I said, if you need any further clarification, I urge you to go over to the first video. Um, it does take a long time to make these tutorials, so um, there is more information and more in depth, but I am adding to this tutorial. So that's why not everything is in this one. So now I'm gonna show you how to make some strapping with cork. How fun is this? I'm using some uh, just school glue. You can use fabric glue, whatever, but I mean, whatever. <laughs> so now I'm just going to take a piece that's about an inch and a half. You can do an inch. And then I'm just going to glue down the sides and I'm gonna line it up in the center. So I butt the uh, ends together to make a perfect, beautiful strap. And because I glued it, um, when I go to take these, you know, the clips off, it's not gonna spring open. So I just did that. And then I'll just do a top stitch on either side to hold it down. And then I have cute straps. And I made them another way and they were so much bulkier, but this, this is the way, I'm telling you. And I made it so that it matches my little D-rings. And yeah, so from here, I'm going to switch out my needle because I am going to be working with some bulkier um, areas. So I'm using a denim needle. You can use a leather needle too if you like, but um, I, I could only get the denim because I was at Walmart, so whatever. Um, so now I'm just going to put those little D rings on and I'm just gonna do a little base stitch to clip that into place. Um, if you don't wanna put a strap on, then you can totally add, omit this part and just, you know, make a little clutch and like, you know, whatever. Or you can just put one, one on and then you can make it into like a little wristlet. So totally up to you what you wanna do. And then after you've done that, then you're going to take your bag and you're going to shove it into your lining. So your, li your bag is right side out and your lining is not. And you're just going to put basically the, the right sides together and then clip that all into place. But when we sew it, we're only going to sew from like the sides. We're not going to sew the whole thing. We're going to leave a big, large opening just because this is the cork leather and it's a little bit more um, harder to flip. Like in the first tutorial, I did it like three or four inches. So with the cork, a little bit harder. So we're going to make a little bit bigger hole. So after that, and it did take a bit to get through those straps, I'm not gonna lie. So you definitely wanna either have a sharp needle or a stronger needle. But now um, when we go to flip it right side out, our lining will look like it's a little tight, a little too much. But you're just going to kind of press with your fingers around the edges of the, um, the flap and the bag um, just to flatten that cork down because it's a little stiff right now. Um, we're gonna do a top stitch also, so that will help make the lining not look so tight. But first, I'm going to put on the 
button. I'm using a magnetic clasp for this tutorial, but you can use whatever you would like to use. So I, because I left that big hole, then I'm able to be able to just reach in and install that on the inside of the bag. And now I'm gonna do a top stitch all the way around, except for that hole. I'm still gonna leave that big hole open just because I still need to install my second snap. Um, but of course, I wanna be able to reach in so I can do that. So it's a little bit tricky with the big, you know, with the cork, but it is definitely doable on a normal machine. This isn't a high tech machine, that's for sure. So you can get it done. So now I'm just going to take some chalk and just mark my little button there. And then I'm gonna close up the bag and then see where it falls. And then that's where I'm gonna install the other piece of my snap. So then from here, you're just going to do a top stitch to close up that big hole and then you're pretty much done. I think it turned out super cute. And if you haven't already checked out the first video, which will be linked in the information icon, and you can um, figure out how to do that other insert version, which is really nice and you know has a nice little divider there. So thank you so much for all of your support. And of course, follow that Facebook group. We would all love to see anything you make. We are a very supportive community and I love each and every one of you. And I just, I just love when you guys send me your work because it just makes my day when I see that you guys have made something that I have showed you how to do. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye guys.